what Jamaica's Rashawn Clark just did. This is crazy. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. You drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. Sound ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, Jamaica's Rashawn Clark, the under 20 400 meter hurdles national record holder was in fine form and blistering speed at the ed murphy classic uh, 2023 which happened yesterday in memphis tennessee people it, talk about dominance just it, it, it was just crazy just absolutely crazy people this is truly crazy the 19-year-old absolutely dominated stamping his class on the field, winning in a time of 48.52 with Ezekiel Nathaniel running 48.55 to come second and David Kend Zero running 48.77 to take that second spot. Nathaniel is from Nigeria uh, and the third place one is from the USA. More to see from these youngsters than from a you know Murphy Classic. And coming off of that win at the Jamaican Championships, he beat the big man to his outside, Jaheel Hyde, at those championships. And we are underway with the men's 400 meter hurdles. Well, there's David Kenziera out in front there in lane number seven, looking for Roshan Clark to run into the picture here in just a moment in lane number five, the world number six this season as you watch him run down the back stretch. And Roshan Clark looks very smooth there running in lane number five. The man ranked sixth in the world with about a half step on Kinsier to his outside in seven. Roshan Clark really pushing hard here as he makes his way side by side with the American to his right. Simultaneously, they sprint into the home stretch in front of the crowd here at Rhodes College in Memphis. Our first finish of the Ed Murphy Classic, and it'll be a fast one as Roshan Clark stumbles just a bit but has enough speed right at the end to get the fast in those final meters and giving him a real run for his money. Art spoke after his win. On field. All right, Roshan, you ran amazing not too long ago at Jamaican Trials. Tell me about your preparation coming into this race today. Um, my preparation coming into this race is just to come out, execute the race, come out and get the win. I did that, I feel pretty good going on to Budapest. Now you're still so young. You set the U20 record. And you know, there's high schoolers out here looking up to you, but you were just in high school. Tell me about some advice you have for them. I'm mad from keep working hard. Listen to your coach, don't give up. Trust the process always, and everything will be fine. I've just in God. All right, congratulations. Now, unless you're living on the rock, you should know that Jamaica's Rashawn Clark holds the island's 400 meter hurdles under 20 national record and won the Jamaican National Championships, um, trouncing the seniors, in fact, in convincing fashion. Uh, this young man is just a find, absolute find. Junior, that meaning under 20 national record hold in the men's 400 meter hurdles and our national 400 meter um under 20 record holder i mean just absolutely incredible talent set set position and now they've been sent away and a good start for jaheel hyde and he's already gone hunting at roshan clark who beat him in the heats here so jaheel hyde already closes that stagger on the outside sean Rowe running pretty well at the moment so Hyde though leads, he's getting to all the hurdles before everyone else. Robin Black running blind on the outside, and he's also still in the frame, but uh, Hyde it is. Rushon Clark, look out for him as well. Uh, they're side by side now is Hyde and Clark, and Sean Rowe with some work to do. Here's Black on the outside as well, trying to stay in that top three position. It's Hyde and Clark, 
and Hyde slightly ahead of Clark, but now Clark edges ahead. Roshan Clark, and he hits the final hurdle, but still has enough to come through. It's Roshan Clark ahead of Jail Hyde, and uh, coming through. Clark's time of 47.85 makes him the top on the 20, meaning junior in the world in the men's 400 meter hurdles for the 2023 season, and number six in the world, um, and uh, medal hopefuls for Jamaica. Now, this, this of course is my two cents. Well, Sean Clark continues to speak power to truth, as one would say, because we've been saying to you that um, the Jamaican squad head, heading into the World Championships this year is a much more fleshed out squad. Um, 400 meter hurdles, we have women, or strong 400 meter hurdles women, we have Roshan Clark and others um, as 400 meter, 400 meter hurdles men who are very, very strong. We, in other words, we have a wider selection. Um, normally, we go there with a very, very strong sprint team, 100 meters, 200 meters, and possibly um, for the women's 400 meters. I see the team just expanding. And Roshan Clark, who is such a remarkable talent, people, he's 19 years of age, 47.85 is a phenomenal time for a 19 year old. Look, it's a phenomenal time for any age group. He's a remarkable talent. And what he just did, what he's been doing, it, this is just crazy. I mean, like really, literally crazy. This is, it, this is his rare, rarefied talent. And um, we hope that he gets a chance to show us his best at the upcoming World Championships in Budapest 2023. I honestly think, should he remain healthy, that this young man will be able to medal. And I'm not the only person. I mean, I'm merely a fan of track and field. The, the pundits, the experts, also concur that this young man has a very, very strong possibility of hitting the medal podium. Now, it will not be a walk in the park because you have some crazy talent out there. Um, we're not even going to get into that in this video. But for a 19-year-old to have run 47.85, is phenomenal in itself and i'm telling you he's a medal possibility for jamaica huge medal possibility now seriously there's some crazy talent we're going to get into that in another video but i think that this is a really really good look for jamaica and rashawn clark his win here if you saw it was well timed well executed um he looks fit very importantly you can see his confidence building um and uh, you even heard I mean, you can see that you see at 19, the maturity in this young man. I really, really do think that we're looking at exceptional talent. And I really, really am excited for the future for this young man. I can't wait to see what he's about to do in Budapest. Um, remember, you hear us say it. Myself and the team believes he can hit that podium. And, and the, the 400 meter hurdles has insane talent. You know, insane talent. But we think that this young man can be on that podium. I'm not going to say first, second, or third, but I think he can get the podium. But this, of course, is my two cents. I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings and queens, bless up.